So the idea is you take a paper napkin, one paper napkin, and you turn it into a picture like that. Okay? What you want to do is you want to enhance the napkin, all right? You don't want to do paint by numbers, if that makes sense. But this one, I've done a little bit differently. This is the very first one I did. And I've actually kept the surround as paper and I've embroidered. But we are going to do it like this, where it's all. Okay, just to show you some of the ones, samples I've got here. I've added a silhouette to this one, and it's of autumn ones I've done. So let me just have a look and see what I've got here. Maybe I'll not pick that one up. Yes, I have. So, this, these ones were actually done from that. Yeah. So you can see I've actually just used it as a, as a background. I'll just show it to you. Cameras on. And the silhouettes are just done on the Sizzix machine, but you can just cut them out yourself mm -hmm. shapes to give a more dramatic effect. So you can actually use your paper background as a background. Uh, with this one, this one here, I've accentuated the birds, but made the background fuzzy. Yes, yes. Okay, so you'll see how that's the difference. So, you know, you don't have to do every single leaf, every single branch and so on. You're just going to make it fuzzy and then the colours will just come through as you're doing it. And then this is a pumpkin one. And that's the pumpkin just there. You see how different it is when you... But I've changed, made it more sort of yellowy and so on. And I put little bees in and so on, which are charms. The one that I do a kit of, uh, the kit actually has this picture. This is a fox, the fox's head. Unfortunately, uh, they've stopped doing that one. It'd be nice if they did. It's been, I did buy quite a lot of them. So I'm eventually going to run out of those ones. But the important thing is, is the eyes haven't been done at all. That's actually the, the original thing. So you don't have to do the eyes or anything. You just, so it's more like fleece painting rather than anything else. So let's get started. You have one paper napkin. That important thing is you have to take the backing off. An easy way to do this, most of them have two. Two backings to them. Because otherwise, if you stick the fusible webbing on here, yeah, that's it. So you just pop that off there. Yeah, and there you've got your top layer. You then cut a bit of fusible webbing. I'm using heat and bond light, which uh, as well water down PVA glue and put that on but I just find this is the easiest way and a less messy and you put the wrong side together so that this knobby side that's a glue and that goes in the back of here and I'm just gonna go across to the iron and I'm just ironing that on there and while I just get a piece of my backing are you ironing the back yeah, down the back. I'm just going to just cut this down just a little bit. Now I use a 10 by 10 mount with an 8 inch that fits just perfectly. Now I need to just peel the backing off. This is always a bit harder to do. Sometimes it happens first time, but um, when you've got people in front of you watching you do it, it's, uh, that's the time it goes wrong. It doesn't quite work. But if you've got sharp nails, it works. So if you if you quilt, you get a pin and you go like yeah, so, yeah. in the middle and, it and pull it. You never do it on the edge. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, this one you can see that's the backing, and that's all. This is a gummy side, and that's a bit you discard. I'm using the polyester wadding again, popping that on here, and I'm going to go over the eye, <laughs> and I'm just ironing that on there. But I'm just laying little bits of white on here. That's where my snow is. And then with the green, I'm just taking bits of fleece. This is Shetland, actually. And I'm just layering it across very, very thinly. I'm not actually hiding what's behind. I'm just laying it across the top, wherever there's green. You know when you tell us about the different, you'll say this is Shetland and this is... 
Is it because they all give a... They all have completely different fibres. Yeah, so they yeah. give a different effect. This, ha this, is, this is Shetland's got... It's very soft and it has a lovely crinkly effect. Right. And this is from the neck area, actually. So, and I'm just laying it across here. So I'm putting my green on first. You notice I'm not actually doing any of my snowdrops because I'm going to do those more solid along with my my robin. So I've just placed her across there and I put some white across there, a little bit more there. So I'm just literally covering like, just a little bit and I'm taking a little bit of red and I'm just and I'm just using that. I'm putting a little bit of red in. I'm not actually felting it very much. I'm just putting a little bit of red here. And I'm just doing that to secure it. Where I can see some red. There we are. I can do my robin now. Just going roughly over there. Now the robin, you want to have some orangey reds, you know, not too, not too red. And I'm just going to lay that across here. Now, this is an important bit. I'm going to just go across here very, very lightly. I'm hardly covering it at all. I can still see the colours through it. There we are. And I'm going to take some brown. Very soft brown. I'm just teasing it out all the time. I'm just lightly covering it. You can see how little I'm actually using. <coughs> and across the top here. And some white. Again. But underneath. It's got some grey here, but I'm just going to just cover that with a little bit of white and keep the grey just there. Any tendrils, just cut That's away. Like that. A bit of white on the top here. There we go. Let's, let's put that on there. The snow has popped on. The tiger. I say you're using so little fleece. Just a small amount. Just accentuating that a little bit. Keep the scissors by you all the time to make sure. There we are. So you can see there, let me just have a look at my picture. So that's how it should look. I'm just going to turn this round. I'll just tap, I'll just tap that in just lightly. That's all you need to do, just lightly. And I'll just take this over to the steam iron. Again, baking parchment across the top. Lay it on and just give it some squirts of steam and it'll go through. Peel it off carefully. It's a shape. Now, this is a bit that you shouldn't really do, but I do very quickly. Make sure I've got some water in there. I just go up it here and just, and just bang it across. All right, I'm not actually touching it, I'm just banging it all across it. Yep. Yeah. Meld into each other. Yeah. And uh, then you can start doing some little extras. I'm gonna take a little bit of blue and put some blue across the sky. I'm going to and I'll steam this again shortly. And I'm going to take some white and just make a bit of fluffy white along the bottom. And some brown for the legs. Again, very, very tiny bit. And scissors. I'm just going to round up my holly bushes. 
and berries. Let's round them up a little bit. Now where I've got, if you can see through here, I've got my snowdrops. I'm going to take some white and just do my snowdrops. Might need to just tease away to see where they were. There we are, there's one there. And I'm going to <coughs> just do this little bees. Be quite honest, you can just put them wherever you like, really, because you can't see them very well. So you just choose where you want to and put more in. Yeah, yeah, it is. And so we just put that on here. And I put a couple on here. Put a little bit more white on here. You want to present your picture. If you're giving us a gift, especially, you want to put it nice and not just do. I sometimes see people put it on to eBay and that seat, and they just show the picture without a, a mount around it. It's a pity, really, because it does detract from it. So I'm just looking for my picture idea. Don't I? just take, let's take my uh, one. I haven't quite finished it, but I'm just going to just trim off the edges here. Okay, just trim it off a little bit. There we are. Okay. You want some masking tape straight down here. You lay your front ear back together. Whoops. And cut across there. If you were just framing straight into frame, you'll get the back to it. Just put the double side tape on that. But this is if you want to do it to or if you're going to be selling your pictures or whatever, and then this is a way to do it, because it's important. And then I get some double-sided tape, and I'm just going to put some across there. Peel that off. And then place your picture on. Press down, fold over. I'm going to move it down a little bit because I've got the center a little bit. And there you go, and there's your, that's it. So that's your best way of, of framing. And then, of course, it can just be opened up, and that can be taken off and then put straight into, into a frame, someone's buying it, uh, if you're giving it as a present. But otherwise, you've got it, and then don't forget to sign it. <laughs> okay? <laughs>